everyone. My name is Sanya Ashraf Pagarkar. I am from Kanosa High School, Mahi. Today, I would like to take pleasure to talk on the topic environment. Environment is no one's property to destroy. It's everyone's responsibility to protect. In an environment is everything that is around us, which includes both living and non-living things, such as soil, air, water, land, plants and animals which adapt themselves to their surroundings. The environment is a gift given to us by the universe which helps in nourishing life on earth. The environment plays an important role in healthy living and the existence of life on planet earth. Earth is a home for different living species and we all are dependent on the environment for food, air, water and other needs. Therefore, it is important for every individual to save and protect our environment for all species and for our own future. But then also, some human society is playing a vital role in degenerating the natural environment which is affecting badly the lives on this planet. Many actions of us have brought big changes to this planet resulting in many environment problems. There are various environment issues such as pollution, over pollution, waste disposal, climate changes, global warming and the greenhouse effect etc. The big reason that poses a serious threat to our environment is the harmful gases in the air. It is our responsibility to save our mother earth and environment by taking small initiatives like the usage of cloth, paper, jute bags, etc. Recycling the waste products, planting saplings, saving drinking water, reducing the use of automobiles, etc. We can reduce the deteriorating impacts. Let us all join hands together to spread the environmental awareness in our everyday life as well as in our society. Let us all work together towards a greener and more sustainable future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daniela Fernandez and I'm going to speak about befriending the environment. Nature is strange and mysterious. Have you ever understood the reason behind the sun and the moon? Have you ever gone beyond the solar system, seen other planets, reached the ends of the universe? No. We have not, and yet we think we are the rulers of the world. We are nothing but tiny objects on the planet. We are just dots in front of the sun, and yet there are greater things beyond it, which makes us nothing. Nature does not depend on us. We depend on nature. Without water, there would be no plants. Without plants, there would be no food. Food is how we survive. Without it, we die. Now try and recall the last time you thanked Mother Nature. The oceans are being polluted with our garbage, the air with our man-made gases. The forests are disappearing. Why? Because our factories need place to prosper. Where have the animals gone? We don't use words like them or they. No, we use words like I, me and myself. And where is this taking us? To life or to death? The rivers, the trees, the grass, they are life. The animals, they feel like us. Nature doesn't need words to tell us what she feels. She is speaking very clearly. Look around you, the tsunamis, the typhoons, the hurricanes, this pandemic. What are we waiting for? We humans are never satisfied. We always want more. Nothing is ever enough. So let us think of a way, a sustainable way, keeping our planet, the animals and people in mind. Nature is a gift. A gift of life. We must learn to love it or else we will suffer. Nature gives without asking. She gives freely. Yet we must ask before taking. For it does not belong to us, but to the one who created it.
Thank you. Good morning to one and all present here. I am going to present a short speech on our environment. Our environment consists of all living beings as well as our surrounding. A health environment is one that is sustainable for a long period of time. It is a source of life for everyone and determines the proper growth and development. Our need for food, water, shelter and for other things depends on the environment around us. There must be a balanced natural cycle that exists between the environment and the lives of human beings, plants and animals. There are many harmful effects of human activities on the environment. Some of this are pollution over population, waste dispersal, climate change, global warming and the greenhouse effect etc. Deforestation is another major reason. The human population is increasing at a fast rate. Therefore, with their daily consumption, we need to cut forests and raise. It may be for our home or for fuel, but we are causing great loss to the environment. The solutions of the problems of the environment. Due to all the above human activities, our planet has reached unsustainable levels. Therefore, it is our duty and responsibility to lower the loss. Every individual can play a significant role in this solution. For example, we should take a pledge to say no to plastic instead of it. We may make use of eco-friendly substitutes like paper and cloth bag. The awareness program should be organized to encourage citizens to use public transport as much as possible. The less us of also everyone must do plantation of trees. The less us of private vehicles will reduce the emission of harmful gases as well we save the fuel resources. In the end, I want to see that we must spread environmental awareness in our society as well as well as in our daily routine life. It is our, we have to save and protect our environment. In my views, it is a responsibility for everyone who are built for the environment. So let us work together towards a greenery and more substitutable future. Environment is no one's property to destroy. It's everyone's responsibility to protect it. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Anmol. I study in class 9. And I am a part of the Lunar Activity Center. And my topic is environment. Environment means nature. And we are destroying it day after day. Now you might think what do we do to destroy nature? We hardly interact with the natural world. Especially if we are living in a metropolitan city like Mumbai. Yes my dear friends. Each one of us create an impact on nature by every activity that we perform. Now tell me, what do we do with wrappers after we pop the chocolate in our mouth? Yes, many of you must have answered, like obedient children, we put it in the dustbin. And you must have thought, ki sardar shabashi dega. Frankly speaking, even I used to do the same until. Four months ago, when I learned that these wrappers are called multi-layer plastics and they are non-recyclable. Throwing them into dustbin only leads them to the dumping ground where they are burnt and it emits harmful gases leading to rise in pollution. So I along with my friends at Lunar Activity Center have started collecting them and sending to the Safai Bank of India who in turn dispose them without causing damage to the quality of air. So this was, was just one example of how we impact nature. Okay. I can speak on this topic on and on, but let me conclude with a simple mantra of four hours. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and if possible, follow the fourth and the best hour. Refrain from the purchasing or using anything that is not required or harmful for nature. Thank you. Our impeccable environment. Looking into the past, the natural beauty which we try to preserve even in the present. But when I think of the future, I'm afraid of the threat. So we have to take actions. Honorable judges, reverend sisters, 
and ladies and gentlemen good morning to you all today i have an opportunity to spend some lighter moments on environment with you all as i said our earth is impeccable flawless and our forefathers took care of it religiously and emotionally our ecosystem is second to none but what have we done we are destroying it with our activities of deforestation activities of mining and pollution it's time for us now to start our action and to preserve our environment for our future generation let us do it by taking one conservation activity one time or one step we can do it by being creative through our digital stories and educate the world today if we do not listen to the cries of the environment we have to face this in future as i quote till the last tree is cut down the last fish is eaten and the last river is poisoned man will not know or he will come to know that he cannot live or eat money so let's not waste time be together tune to environment thank you good morning to one and all today i am going to present a short speech on environment our environment consists of all living beings as well as their surroundings a healthy environment is one that is sustainable for a long period of time it is the source of life for everyone it directs the life of everyone and determines the proper growth and development the good or bad qualities in our life is dependent on the quality of our natural environment there are many harmful human activities on the environment some of them are pollution overpopulation waste disposal climate change greenhouse effect global warming etc due to all the human activities on the environment our planet has reached unsustainable levels therefore it is our duty and responsibility to lower the loss for example we can pledge to say no to plastic we can plant more and more saplings in our surroundings as well as in any empty spaces another effective way is to habituate ourselves to use public transport over personal vehicles to create a worldwide awareness to protect the environment the united nations have decided on june 5th as world environment day to protect the environment and prevent any hazards to human beings other living creatures plants and property the indian government has imposed the environment protection act in 1986 let us all work together towards a more greener and cleaner environment mohit aghadi rightly said the environment is no one's property to destroy it's everyone's responsibility to protect so let us all pledge to save our mother earth in every possible way so friends forests are green oceans are blue keep the earth clean for me and you thank you i do not want to protect environment i want to create a world where the environment not need protection a very good morning respected judges honorable sisters teachers and my dear friends I am Ms. Adya Bilal Sheikh from Standard 7th of Auxilium Corner High School, Bandra. Stand here to express myself on the topic Save Environment. Friends, decade ago, our surrounding, which we so call as nature, was green and clean. We learned from our ancestral history that nature was at its height of freshness and joy. People were very happy to inhale the fresh, lovely air. Birds chirped around in joy. and animals seem to enjoy their dwellings to the fullest even the human being found joy to amid the nature as he provided him essential commodities to fulfill his needs but as man progressed he felt the need of shelter he cleaned the land by cutting trees trees that were the shelter of many animals and birds the level of oxygen started declining the temperature of the earth began to rise this This resulted in global warming. It affected the amount of rainfall that the earth received. Tsunami, floods and melting of glaciers 
migraining of birds and animals and many species became extinct. Oh no, men, what have you done? The earth is in despair, in real sadness, needs our help. Our mother earth is our mother in real sense, taking care of everything we need. And in return, what have we given it? Only hatred, garbage, pollution, what not. Wake up all of us. Our, other, our earth needs our help. Plant more trees and save, save birds and animals. And overall, save yourself. Remember, nature belongs to us and we belong to nature. So, stop pollution. Save nature, save life. Thank you.